You're petting him. I think I don't think you read your own sign that says <laughs> <laughs> When I was in Hawaii a few months back on vacation, I stopped at a really awesome local aquascaping inspired fish store called Aquascapes. They're on Instagram as Aquascapes808. I'll put a link for them down in the description. But I have to say Jojo and his wife, the owners of the store, were the nicest people I've met in a long time. We didn't have a plan to shoot here, guys. We just showed up, said, hey, this is what we want to do, and they were more than welcome to accommodate. They even bought us lunch. They were just the nicest people. Jojo himself is a very accomplished aquascaper. He trained in Japan under the guidance of Takashi Amano several years back. So this guy definitely knew what he was talking about. He has a ton of experience in this hobby, and he was an awesome guy to talk to. So sit back, relax, we're going to take a trip through the store here and intermittently there's going to be him and I talking and kind of going through some of the cool features that they have to offer at the store. Pretty expensive up there. Like um, a nice piece that was about this size. Yeah. 800 bucks? Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. But if you lift it up, try to lift it, it's super heavy. <laughs> super heavy. Oh, yeah. Super dense. No, I'm just, yeah. I'm not even going to try and bicep curl that. <laughs> so that's, that's, why, that's why I think I guess like, one of the unique stones that I got from there. Interesting. And then, of course, you got the Mabu Puffer down in here. Does he have a name? Uh, my daughter named him Matson. <laughs> What is he doing down there? He's chilling. Oh, you're petting him. Yeah, yeah you're petting him. I think I don't think you read your own sign that says. Oh my gosh! Yeah, employee employee only puffer fish petting, right? <laughs> oh yeah. And then I, Jojo, I wanted to ask you too over here. So this is really cool. I think people would really like this. Yeah. So those are all. Okay, that's 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 the native shrimp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't get bigger. Yes. So it's um. No, I don't, sorry, I don't have light, so I don't have to um, It's called Opai Ula. These actually come from um, the Big Island, uh, Kona, and they're collected in alkaline ponds. So, yeah, they don't really need anything. <laughs> Yeah, Rena was telling me when we were here earlier that these haven't, like, the water in here is the same water that's been in it for like six years. Yeah, we've been there forever. For forever, yeah. yeah. yeah we just we just top it off with fresh water. That's wild. So it's like, uh, salinity is, uh, 1.01. 1. Okay, so it's like brackish? Yes. They're brackish shrimp. That's so cool. And they're tiny. They look like, yes. they look like shrimplets of, like, cherry shrimp, yeah. oh, but that's actually, their... Actually, you see that real tiny one right there? I don't think the camera's gonna be able to see it, but I can. Right there, right there. I can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right there. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, there That's he a is. Baby. Oh my god. So they bred in there. Yeah, I oh, guess yeah. they bred. That's crazy. Yeah, isn't it? We got nothing else to do. Yeah. But yeah, so like, um, these were super popular because you could make a little um set up in your in a small jar like this, mm -hmm. and they would put it on their desk. People just actually keep it on their desk in their office. Because cool. it would have. Hey, do one for me. I hey, I can ship. I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, can, I mean I can, you know, I can ship you some. It's super easy to take care of. They're very, very low maintenance. But then this is really cool. So you have all the booths yeah, so here in the little terrarium just, jars. Yeah, terrariums. I mean. There's just some stuff that I just kept and I'm like, no, they're just going. Yeah, it's very cool. It's, it's these little things that people think, they think it's really cool, you know what I mean? Because this is something, you can have part of the aquarium world, but in in a different form, you know? Yes, something that's yes, like a yes. lot easier. You can yeah. have that at work yeah. on your desk, you can have that on yes, the table exactly. at home. And, yeah. and, and they flower too, right? So that's one thing that's really unique and fun about it. Yeah, yeah. So, carnivorous plants as well. These, those pitcher plants. Yeah. Maybe pitchers. 
Yeah, those are very cool. Another really cool thing that stood out to me in the store was all of the little Aquascape terrariums that JoJo had. These things were super inspiring and really got me excited to get back from the vacation so I could try making a few myself at home. You can stand on top there and look at them. Yeah, no, I was gonna ask you about this. I had a lot of questions. Um, one was this material right here, it almost looks like a cork. Yeah, cork work. Yeah? So this, this stuff is sweet, like, and you get that from? Uh, we bring it in. Okay. That's from Jose. That's from Mexico, all from the mainland. Okay. Huh. Oh, really? Okay, so yeah, it, it so, comes from yeah, comes yeah. from Hawaii. No, not from from the no, mainland. From yeah. Oh, from us. Oh, yeah, the mainland. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Ma <laughs> mainlander, you know? <laughs> Classic mainlander, not knowing so, what the so mainland these, is. So these. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Just these are, yeah, that's fine. These are basically farm plants. Yeah. No, this is your little immerse setup? Yeah. So, whenever we have little projects, we just put stuff together. So, if you look at them, you, you kind of know what plants they are. Yeah, well you got the Monte Carlo, yeah, Monte Carlo, S Repens, and then you got, what, yeah, some, uh, yeah, some Macaronda or whatever, a little Japan Clover. No, that's very cool. So, yeah, I mean, simple, simple little thing, yeah. Yeah, that stuff is, that stuff's wild, but you're not, you could fill that up and yeah, have it be a little tank, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so the corkwood will do... Just fine. Yeah, so submerged. Actually, okay. Yeah, so so as long as you actually uh, still put it down on the tank, then it won't float. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, no, those are cool. This one is uh, flamingo. I mean, um, the crypt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have and a I have a couple of them. Yeah, that's actually going emerge. Oh no way. Oh, that's cool how wide and small the yeah, leaves are. Cute, yeah. What? <laughs> it's super cute. That's yeah, really That's the definition of cute. Yeah, that's so cool. So, normally, this is all from the humidity in the tank. That's the reason why. I love yeah, Monte Carlo up out of water. Isn't yeah. it great? It's super easy to. I love it. Know. So, yeah, she can do terrarium, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you can terrarium yeah, that. I can terrarium. No, I, I got a bunch of Monte Carlo. Yeah. You can have some. Okay. <laughs> Like PetSmart and Petco, and they have it in the reptile section. Oh, Am I just wow? Really? Now I feel silly. Yeah. Yeah. This has Up been this point. has been right under my nose the whole time. Yeah. yeah. My man. So some some guys actually I've seen guys Ooh. actually silicone this in the back, uh -huh. and then they grow all their um their uh what's that travel friends and whatnot on top. Yeah. Okay. So it looks way natural down mm -hmm. the water. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like the perfect 3D background yeah. material, yeah, right? You can just punch it in, and then it'll actually stick. Yeah. Yeah. I'll punch it with um, in those um, U hooks. So it goes, mm -hmm. Yeah. That's crazy. This sword. Uh, that don't look like crap, but that's actually the newest. Um, oh, that little guy in the in the back there. Guy. Yeah. It's not truly identified. So. Um, it's a new species. You should see them in Japan book soon. A guy who bought those, uh, my friend went to Thailand, he picked that up for me. Uh huh. Um, the Japanese guy bought those plants and he said he'd been waiting for that plant for 10 years. What? He just, I just got this. And then uh, he bought a, he bought the whole um, bulb, 600. No way. That's wild. Yeah. This one only has a, a holes in the middle. Oh, weird. Okay. Yeah, so it's super, super cool, super different. Okay, so you have seen it bigger. Yes. Okay. But I couldn't afford something like that. <laughs> 600 bucks. That's pretty wild. So that plant that you're looking at right now, if you touched it, it feels like hard plastic. Really? Huh. Like super hard plastic. It's pretty. Interesting. It's nothing like a regular sword. So it's like, um, not brittle is not the right word, but it's, uh, it's like, just more rigid? It's like a plastic yeah. plant. Okay. Thick. You know, like if you went to the store and bought a plastic thick plant? Yeah, sure. The leaf, that's how it feels like. Oh, that's so weird. And then when you bend it, it'll just snap and crack. And this one on the back, you said was another? Yeah, Satan 2000, that's another type. There's well, four, there's one, two, three, four. 
five, five different ones in here. It's a different color of green, you yeah. know? It's like a very unique green. Yeah, this tank is sweet though. I just I just love Monte Carlo, you know. And the red root floaters. Yeah, no, this is cool. This has got to be one of your favorites right here, right? Not maintaining. Yeah, no, yeah, you you obviously don't. How many how many hours does it take to trim this tank? Actually, I just chop, man. I just go at it because. Yeah. Take long to scoop all the crap out of it more than freaking cutting it. <laughs> yeah, right? All the all the netting you gotta do on that? Oh man. <laughs> but everybody like it because it's so you know, bright. Yeah. yeah. Then you got the antlers in there, they look good. The entire left wall of the shop is dedicated for selling fish, while the entire back wall of the shop was dedicated for selling plants. And man, JoJo had a ton of awesome fish and plants to show off. Over here, you have all of all the fish that you sell in yes. your rack. Here, everything's looking super clean. I love it. Oh. I love it, man. Um, but then you have matten filters on all these tanks, including the plant tanks over here. So, you were gonna say something about these matten filters? Why you like them? Yeah. So, unlike other filters, they use air stones. These are all jetted. So if I take this out and if you look inside here, it's all holes. Okay. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So if you put it down, you'll see all the little. Oh, okay. And that's what makes the water jet out so strong. So I actually just put a lid on top, so it actually holds it down because it's a little. Uh, it flows a little bit. Interesting. If you look, you see how much water it flows through. It's like a jet. Yeah, that's way better. Oh, that's and crazy. I don't, I don't have to buy air stones. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Because air stones clog up, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. But these, I just clean the inside and I'm done. That's sweet. If you guys ever find yourselves in Honolulu, make sure you look up Aquascapes. Go check out the store. It's an absolute blast. You're going to have a great time. One more big thanks to Jojo and Rena for letting us come in and film. It was a blast, and we really appreciated it. Don't forget to go check out their Instagram for a bunch of really cool pictures from the store, guys. And with with that, I'll sign off. We'll see you in the next one.